Uh, thank you. Can we now proceed to the uh, next interpolator, Congressman Bilaro? Magandang hapon po sa ating mga resources persons from the DOG family at sa ating mga testigo. Mr. Chair, before this representation from Unang Education Barnabas would like to, would be conducting this interpolation, let me just make a record three manifestations. Number one, first is that I, this representation fully concurs with the observation of Congressman Tevez that first and foremost, this is a congressional inquiry in aid of legislation. The last phrase should not be forgotten. It should be in aid of legislation. I just have to make some disclosure because over the break, this representation who happens to be in touch with the IPP before as uh, a former commissioner of our discipline, happy to talk with representative IPP here, attorney Emmanuel Benaventura, and we discuss what is the thrust of this investigation. And in reaction to media reports, we just like to make a record that Firstly, uh, this is in aid of legislation. And to my mind, two things could be a productive result of this endeavor. One is a reorganization of the View Corps and the NDP. Another one is the establishment of concrete and delegated protocols, legal protocols with respect to the handling of prisoners and respect to the relationship between the, the prisoners as well as the View Corps officials. That is the first manifestation, Your, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chairman. The second point is that it is transparent. Uh, and in the spirit of transparency, we just like to posit the question, but I request that the, that the concerned party answer it after my manifestations, is that this is directed to the private counsel of one of the, of the prisoners. In the spirit of transparency, may we put on record who paid for the, for the attorney's fees of the, of the witnesses. I understand that some are from PAO, but there are private councils here. So after this manifestation, we just like to request to make it a record who paid for the attorney's fees of these witnesses. The third manifestation is with respect to impartiality. And I would like to echo the, the pronouncements of our chairman, Chairman Umali, as well as Justice Biloso, that in par by way of paraphrasing their comments, this is after all also impartial investigation. So this is not about Secretary Laila de Lima. Incident, he is, she is only incidental to the conduct of this investigation. Uh, precisely to bring about that there is a proliferation of drug trade in the NDP which requires immediate and urgent legal reform. So having said that, Mr. Chair, me, and this representation continue with this interpol uh, interpolation witness. And among others, uh, Mr. Chairman, I noted that my colleagues here have already conducted cross-examination or direct examination of the other witnesses so, so as to make my contribution to the Committee on Justice of Business Representation as a member. Uh, I would not be repeating their questions. Instead, I would just focus on witness Jojo Obaligad. Is he here? Mr. Jojo Obaligad, sir? Andito pa kayo? Uh, in the hope that the conduct of examination of this representation would somehow contribute to the jigsaw puzzle so that collectively we'd be able to ferret the truth in the drug trade business happening in the, in, uh, the view court. So, Mr. Baligat, ang una ko pong tanong ay naintriga po ako doon sa uh, sinabi niyong hatian doon sa inyong apidabit. And for the record, ay nakasaad dito na nagbigay ko po kayo ng 100,000 kay Poy, 100,000 kay Poy nung mga iba-ibang petsa sa January. Kay sa total po nito at 3.8 million. Dalawa po ang katanungan ko dito. Meron po ba kayong resibo? At ano po ba ang katunayan nyo na ito pong hatian na ito ay talagang nasunod? Wala po akong resibo, sir. Pangalawa ko pong katanungan, in the spirit of impartiality, in the spirit of transparency. Sinabi niyo po sa inyong affidavit na kayo po ay naging pag-ugnayan lamang kay, una po ay kay, 
a certain boy at later on po na siya pong nag-ibigay kay OIC Rafael Ragus at nung siya po ay napalitan kay ano na po kay a certain cor Colonel Ellie so ito po ba ang ibig po bang sabihin nito ay hindi po talaga kay diretso kay Secretary Laila Dilima sa pagpagtransaksyon po sa illegal na droga hindi po So, wala pong pagkakataon na kayo po ay nakausap personally ni Secretary Laila Dilima regarding po. Trans. Kaya hindi na pa po, Honorable Bilaro. Huling katalungan na lang po, Mr. Thank Chair. You. Ang huling katalungan ko po, Mr. Witness, is that kasi na naguguluhan po ako kung bakit nagkakaroon ng mga gangs sa loob ng Bilibid Prison. Pwede mo po ba kaming uh, paliwanag dito kung bakit po nagkakaroon mga drugs, ano nga uh, gangs sa loob ng kul kulungan at paano po ito mabubuwag? Maraming uh, salamat. Pagkating ko po sa Bilibid, sir, meron na pong mga pangkat. Kaya hindi ko po talaga alam kung paano nagumpisa yan. Uh, tingin niyo po, paano ba natin ito mabubuwag? Itong mga, mga gangs na ito sa loob ng kulungan. Mahirap po buwagin ang pangkat doon sa loob, sir. Kasi may kanya-kanyang yung mga ibang tatak, kahit burahin mo man sila, ang puso nila nandun pa rin sa dating pangkat nila. Marami pong salamat sa inyong katapatan. Sagot. Salamat po. Thank you po. Mr. Chair, thank you very much.